Good day, mga ka Fresh Review Hub. Welcome to another exciting edition of our review edition. It's been a long time. It's almost five months. And finally, here I come with another video presentation and review session for everyone. With that, allow me to share my screen. Ito po. This will be very quick. Just hold on there. And I know, and I know you're all excited. Let's go with our update and mock test number four. Once again, I am Hermes P. Vargas joining you from Dep and Angeles City in this another exciting day. Here we go. Okay, what's told for us today are the following. We'll have a recap, an update, a review proper. So let's talk about mock test number four. After mock test number four, we are going to have discussion on the answers. And of course, I'm going to give you reminders Yan, diretso na po tayo. Here is our recap. Of course, our last video, matagal-tagal na yun. Alam ko naman, it's been five months. Nagka-mactis number three po. That was the last one. At hindi pa nasundan. Ito pa lang po. So, kalimutan na natin yun. Let's move on na po. Okay? Here's an update coming from the regional director of DEP and NCR. The same time, the office in charge of the Office of the Undersecretary for Human Resource and Organizational Development. Updates and reminders of the National Qualified Examination for School Heads and quest for fiscal year 2021. Okay. In other words, ang sinasabi pa namin dito po, eh, na-move ang ating end quest to March 2022. That's the first premise. And meanwhile, sabi niya that those who are interested in taking the end quest um, are advised to take into consideration the following experience requirements by February 2022. A, one year as head teacher. Two years as teacher in charge. C, two years as master teacher. D, five years as teacher three or sped teacher. And E, five years as incumbent public school teacher who has five years of managerial and supervisory experience in a deaf and recognized private institution or commission on higher education, recognized higher education institution. Okay, here is page two. It says here, those qualified to take the MQS are encouraged to be familiar with the prof Philippine Professional Standard for School Heads, PPSSH, and we start preparing the documents once the registration of inquest commences, ito po yung mga importante yung kailangan dapat ihanda natin. A, approved individual performance commitment and rating for IPCRF with a rating audit very satisfactory for at least the two consecutive ratings. That means to say school year 2020-2021 and school year 2019-2020 po ang magiging basis for those IPCRF. Teacher in charge and head teacher acting as school head are required to secure office performance commitment and review from or OPCRF. In our case, in our division, we already have our hard copy of the OPCRF, no? It was already signed by our school's division superintendent. Moving on, service record duly certified by the administrative officer of the school's division office. And if applicable, designation or special order as teacher in charge or officer in charge, uh, the signed by the school's division is in superintendent. Very, very important po ito. Certification of managerial and administrative experience from depth ed recognized private institution or CHED recognized higher education institution signed by the president of the institution. Sabi rin niya po rito, as a precaution, please be reminded that depth ed values credibility and integrity of the examination. The agency is not connected to any individual or institution or organization offering review sessions online or not. Ang depth ed po wala pong kinalaman dyan. Those are out of their initiative. However, this memorandum was updated once again last September 23. Of course, once again from um, Regional Director Wilfredo Cabral, it says here, this is reference to um, Department Memorandum HROD 2021 152, which revised the eligibility requirements to the qualified to participate in the fiscal year 2021 NQS, um for in 2022. Sabi po niya rito, Please be clarified that aspiring school heads, regardless of the current school position, are qualified to take the end quest, provided the following requirements are met. First, meets the minimum qualification standards, QS for principal one, position stipulated in debit order number 39, series 2007, entitled Modified Qualification Standard for positions of head teachers and principals. Mamaya kundi po, we'll take a look at that. Very, very quick lang po. And number two, has acquired any of the following experience requirements as of February 2022. One year as head teacher. So kung mag one year as head teacher ka sa March, hindi pwede. B, two years as teacher in charge. So dapat two years ka as of February 20, as two years ha? C, two years as master teacher as of February 2022 din po. Five years as teacher or sped teacher, and there are five years incumbent public school teacher 
who has five years of management and supervisory experience in a depth and recognized private institution or commission higher education recognized by higher education institution. That's very, very clear. Here is the page two of this updated memorandum. Let's continue. Sabi po rito. Let me read. Moreover, please note that the following documents are required only for the specific requirements related to the experience. One, two years as teacher in charge. Kailangan mo talaga ng designation or special order as PIC or OIC. It must be signed by your school's division superintendent. So reminder po yun, napaka-importante po yan. Number two, five years incumbent public school teacher. Again, to emphasize, certificate of managerial and administrative experience from deaf and recognized private institution or child recognized higher education institution signed by the president of the institution. Instruction on the application process and other information related to the conduct of the fiscal year 2021 and which in March 2022 shall be announced on a separate memorandum. So ante-ante lang po na tayo ng konti. Definitely, the Deputy Central Office will release memorandum regarding this matter. Let's continue po. Tuloy-tuloy po ang ating pag-aal at pagkatuto sa ating mga aspiring school heads. Here is a quick glance of Dep. Ed. Order Number 39 Series 20, 2007. Ito po specifically for Principal 1 of the Elementary School. It says here, the education qualification must be bachelor's degree in elementary education or bachelor's degree with 18 professional education units. Ito po yung mga experience niya. Sabi niya, head teacher one for one year, teacher in charge for two years, master teacher for two years, or teacher for five years. For secondary school naman, for principal, well, ito po ang sinasabi naman niya. Bachelor's degree in secondary education or bachelor's degree with 18 professional education units, HD for one year, TIC for two years, MT for two years, or master teacher for five years. Let's continue now. Ayan. Mark test po tayo. Direction na po tayo. There will be 10 questions in our mark list as usual. Each question will be shown on the screen and will be read once. You will be given 45 minutes, seconds, 45 seconds to read and answer. Timer will be so ang training ko po sa inyo, even I would, during my, when I was taking the exam, talagang 45 seconds up to 60 seconds, mabilis magbasa, mabilis mag-isip, at tama ang sagot. Yun po ang magandang training natin dito. No? I've been conditioning you to do that since the very beginning. Let's continue. Number four, use the answer sheet provided black in the circle of the correct answer. Five, the key to correction will be given after all questions have been asked. The passing score is 70%. So if there are 10 items here, 7 points po dapat ang makuha niyo to pass our math test number 4. Let's continue. Here is the um, answer sheet that I provided in our FB group. Ayan po ang itsura niyan. Okay? Okay? Eto. Sige. Diretso po tayo mga kapatid. Here we go. I hope you are all set as we begin with question number 1. Which debit order issued the adoption of unique learner reference number or LRN? One, debit order number 21, series 2012. Two, debit order number 22, series 2012. Three, debit order number 23, series 2012. Four, debit order number four, series 2012. A1, B2, C3, D4. A lot of time remaining. Kayang kaya po yan. We still have 20 seconds on our timer. A lot of time. Let's continue na po. Okay, if you have questions, clarifications po, verification, or you want to say something about our session today, just chat on our chat pane in our YouTube um, um, our channel here or in our YouTube chat um, live. Ayan po. Thank you. Time is up. Let's now go to question number two. Albert is a Balik Ara learner in Cordova, Cebu. Which of the following is a required document and must be present during the enrollment? One, school form nine. Two, school form ten. Three, birth certificate. Four, barangay certificate. A, one, B, two, C, three, D, four. Hi. Really, really challenging, isn't it? Don't you worry, right? After all the questions have been asked, we shall be um, discussing the answers so that it will be more clear to you kung bakit ito ang sagot. Again, importante po, na hindi niyo memoryado. So, kundi alam niyo, especially if it is an application or a specific situation, that's the key there that you get to understand and to interpret the debit order and you know what to do guided by the debit issuance if you are in that particular situation. And time is up. Let's go to question number three. The school year 2021-2022 has 209 school days. It opened last September 13, 2021. La, the last day of enrollment was September 30, 2021. Ella, 
an incoming grade 9 student asked her mother to enroll us October 15. The mother went to the school and was not accepted by the school head. Is the action valid and justified? One, yes. Two, no. Three, maybe. Four, not sure. A, one. B, two. C, three. D, four. Ah, very timely, especially that our school a year 2021, 22 has just opened. And of course, actually, but there are still students who are trying to enroll, you know. But of course, there is a this is a very good question, especially if it is if you are already handling, handling a school, you alam ko mahaharalate kay dito talaga naman, no? Okay, last 10 seconds. Okay, here we go. Uh, last five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Time is up. Let's go to question number four. And it goes something like this. Santa Barbara Integrated School adopted the Basic Education Learning Continuity Plan in 2020, which of the following practices does not adhere to the principles of BELCP. One, school conducts online supreme student government elections. Two, supreme dis school distributes personal predictive equipment to teachers. Three, learners participate in the blended learning modality. Four, teachers report to school from Monday to Friday. A1, B2, C3, D4. Alin kaya dyan, no? So easy, easy pa lang abuti. 10 seconds to go. Before we move on to our next question, sampulang po ang tanong natin. This is very quick. Three, two, one, and zero. Time is up. Let's go to question number five. Which of the following person is responsible for the administrative and instructional supervision of the school? One, officer in charge. Two, school leader. Three, school head. Four, principal. A, one. B, two. C3, D4. You have a lot of time to answer, my dear friends. So please, if you want to participate, you can just chat your answers on the live chat. Okay lang po yan. I'll get to read that after that, after this, okay? So we still have, oh, 10 seconds to go. A lot of time, my dear friends, aspiring school heads. Please share this link and let the others learn from our um, review session here. And time is up. Let's go to question number six. Which of the following are true about assessment and grading? Ah, oh, 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 oh let's go back to that. Oh, okay, sorry, sorry. Which of the following are true about assessment and grading in the light of the COVID-19 pandemic? One, written words and performance tasks shall be used to assess learners. Two, all competencies shall be covered by the performance tasks. Three, performance tasks should be given a higher weight in science and mathematics. Four, minimum of four written words and four performance tasks should be required in a quarter. A, one, two, and three. B, one, two, and four. C, one, three, and four. D, two, three, and four. Five seconds to go. And... Time is up. Let's go to question number seven. That question is timely. I gusto nyo to. Gusto nyo ang tanong na to. How much is the 2021 year end bonus cash and cash gift of a debt ed employee? One, one full month salary and 5,000 pesos. Two, one full month salary and 4,000 pesos. Three, one full month salary and 3,000 pesos. For one full month salary and 2,000 pesos. A1, B2, C3, D4. I'm excited na kung November. <laughs> okay, your answers, please. Just shade the circle of the correct answer. And we still have five seconds before we move on to the next question. And there you go. Time is up. Question number eight. Mr. Isco Marcos. Oh, timely, ha? Mm. Mr. Isco Marcos was hired as a senior high school teacher too. Last June 25, 2021. The question is, is he entitled to the year-end bonus and cash gift? A, yes. B, no. C, not sure. For maybe A, one. B, two. C, three. D, four. Ayan. Naku. 
exciting ang tanong na ito ha. Dapat sa mga school heads dati, dapat alam niyo ang mga benefits at ng ating mga teachers. Very, very important po ito, no? It's also very, very important. Talaga naman. 10 seconds to go. Before we move on to our last two questions. Ayan, ay, naku, malapit-lapit na ang discussion natin. So exciting. And because of that, let's move on to question number nine. And here we go. Ay, timely ang mga ginagamit kong personalidad. Ano? Ms. Lenny Laxon Pacquiao is the school head of Pag-asa Elementary School. In the, what is it, in the computation of the school MOE budget proposal, how much is the fixed cost for elementary schools? One, 100,000 pesos. Two, 96,000 pesos. Three, 50,000 pesos. Four, 40,000 pesos. A1, B2, C3, D4. Alam niyo gusto ko mag-usapan ng topic sa MOE. Baka sa aking private review, yan ang pag-uusapan ko, yung competition ng MOE, the uses, and some things about uh, financial manage, uh, financial management. No? Very important din po yan. So last one second, and time is up! Question number 10. Here we go, the last one. On which pillar of sulong edukalidad is Philippine Professional Standard for School Heads Domain 5? is obviously connected. Okay? One pillar, one. Two pillar, two. Three pillar, three. Four pillar, four. A1, B2, C3, and D4. Last 20 seconds. Mm -hmm. Here we go. After this point, a discussion na po tayo. Here we go. Last five seconds. Oh, in advance ko talaga, no? Three... Two, one, and zero. Time is up. Here we go. Let us now discuss the answers. Here are the answers on our questions. 1B, 2A, 3A, 4D, 5C, 6C, 7A, 8A, 9C, 10D. Let's go now to the discussion beginning with question number one. Okay, which debit order issued an adoption of unique learner reference number, LRN? Oh, among the four debit number 21, debit order number 22, debit order number 23, four debit order number 24, series of 2012. The answer is letter B. Diyan nagkumpisa lahat talaga yung paggamit at ang LRN. That debit order number 22 started everything. So importante po yan kasi ginagamit natin hanggang ngayon. Okay, let's go to question number two. Okay, so ang situation dito, Albert is a balik aral in Cebu. Okay? Alin ba ang required sa kanya? Ang reference po dito dapat po, yung kakalimutan, debit order number 3, series 2018. There is a special case in that particular debit order which talks about balik aral. And mind you, there is only one document which is being required for, for the student there na nagbabalik aral, no? And that is SF9. And that is letter A. Yun ang pinapa- requires sa kanya doon. Huwag niyo pong kakalimutan niyo. Please read that. Debit order number 3, series of 2018. Very, very important. Okay? Let's go to question number 3. The question is, tama ba ang ginawa ng school head dito? One year. As sabi niyo dito, the school year 2021 has 209 school days. It opened last September 13, 2021. The last day of enrollment was September 30. Ella, an incoming grade 9 student, as her marriage enrolled last October 15. So bago-bago lang. The mother went to the school head and was not accepted by the school head. The question is, was it valid and justified? One, yes, two, no, three, uh, maybe, D, not sure. The answer here is no. Letter B, bakit? Kasi po, again, go back to Dep Ed Order Number 3, Series 2018. There is a provision there for late enrollees. No? Ang sinasabi nyo, kahit late enrollees lang, you could still accept them, provided they will still be able to commit 80% of the school days. Every like that, also 200 na ngayong school year 2021-2022, pag na-miss mo ang 20%, that is about 41.8 lamang. E mula September 13 hanggang October 15, 25 days pa lang ang hindi napasukan ni Ella. So kung tutusin, si may 16 days pang pwedeng uh, sa first quarter na makukuha ni Ella. And in mind you, my dear future school heads, even though na malampasan pa sa 20% ang hindi makukuha ang school days ni Ella, as a school head, we have the power no, discretionary power to accept the learner as we provide cash up activities for the learner to complete and to pass the first quarter. Nasa kapangyarihan po natin yon. 
Okay? So, very, very important. Now, importante po na ang mga tanong at BEP and order. Reminder ko lang po, na-anchor din ninyo kung sa ang particular PPSH is ito naka-anchor. Dapat alam din niyo. For example, itong, itong enrollment rate, this has something to do with access, no? One of the key result areas ng DEP ed, na, ng Department of Education um, access. And you will find that in DEP ed order number 44, series 2015, access, no? Eh, kung titignan mo, that has something to do with performance indicators. That has something to do with performance indicators, no? Okay? Now, let's go to question number four. Let us try to see question number four. The Santa Barbara Integrated School adopted basic education learning continuity plan in 2020. Which of the following practices does not adhere to the principles of BLCP? Alin dito? One, nagkundak ng um, SAG election, online yan. Two, uh, nagbigay ng PPE sa mga teachers. Three, learners participate in blended learning modality. Four, teachers report to the school from Monday to Friday. The correct answer is letter, ano po sagot natin? Letter D. Bakit mo mapapasok ang teacher naman dito Friday? Eh, meron naman tayong um, Dep Ed Order Number 12 Series 2020 na sila sabing may alternative work arrangement ang mga teachers natin. And reminder, one of the principles of BLSCP is the protection of the health, safety of teachers and learners. That's the first principle. Kung pinapasok naman naman dito Friday si teacher mo at ikaw sulit, may pananagutan ka pa nagkasakit ang guro mo. Ingat-ingat po tayo sa ano? ano ne? That's very, very clear, my dear school heads. My alternative work arrangement, especially that we are guided by the um, quarantine guidance by uh, IATF, depending sa status ng ating lugar, kung modified general community quarantine, ECQ, susundan po natin yun. You cannot just require your teachers na mag-report kayong Monday to Friday. Ano? Mm, Ingat-ingat, mga, ka mga ka kapatid na, okay? Clear po tayo ito. Ang sasinasabi ng Deputy Order Number 12, Series of 2020, Okay, let's go to question number five. Ah, napakadaling tanong. Basis mo dito, Republic Act 9155. The correct answer, sa taong may uh, responsible for administrative and instructional supervision of school, OIC, school leader, school head principal. The correct answer is number three, school head, letter C. Very, very clear. You can't argue on that because that is stipulated in the uh, Republic Act 9155, okay? Let's go to question number six. Which of the following are true about assessment and regating in light of the COVID-19 pandemic? Written words and performance tasks shall be used to assess learners. Mm -hmm. Two, all companies shall be covered by the performance tasks. Uh -huh. Three, performance tasks shall be given higher weight in science and mathematics. Uh -huh. Four, minimum of four written words and four performance tasks shall be recorded in a quarter. Nako, dapat Babalik, uh, there is a debt order here no, that which, which um, talks about the assessment. Although we still anchor on debt order number eight. I, 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 what's the debt order number here? There is one. Eh. It, ang, ang tama sa kutulit to ay letter B, one, two, and four. Hindi pwede yung performance that should be given higher weight in science and mathematics. Kasi if you look at the debt order on on assessment and grade in the COVID-19 pandemic, ang performance task po sa science and math ay parehong 50%. That's both 50%, no? So, hindi mo pwedeng gamitin na sabihin na mas mataas yung, yung ano, yung um, uh, bigibigay ng weight. Eh, hindi eh. Pantay ang pagibigay ng performance task at written work on pareho silang 50%. They were given equal weight, okay? Ayan. Let's continue on question number seven. How much is the 2021 year in bonus? Mm, bet ko to. Cash gift for debt and employees. Ayan. One month salary or 5,000, 4,000, 3,000, 2,000. Ano pong obvious na sagot dito? Sige nga, let me see your chat. Tingnan natin. Oh, the correct answer is, syempre, one full month salary and 5,000 pesos. Mm, hindi mo pwede ipasabalian niya at bawal mo rin kupitin niya. Makukulong ka, no? Mm, bawal yan. Sige. Let's go to question number eight. Mr. Isko Marcos was had as a senior high school teacher to last June 25, 2021. Is he entitled a year in bonus and cash gift? Ang sagot ay one yes, two no, three not sure, four maybe. The correct answer is a yes. Bakit yes? Kasi from June, um, from January dapat, October 31, cut off mo yung October 31, dapat ako four months ka at least. E kung na-in June 25, 2021, ilang months siya hanggang October 20, uh, 31, 2021? Bilangin po natin. June 25, July 25, August 25, September 25, October 25. Eh, October 31 ang cut of mo. So, four months pa siya at 6 days kung tutuusin. So, the correct answer here is yes. He is entitled 
to the year-end bonus and cash gift. Okay? Question number nine. Si Mrs. Lenny Laxon Pacquiao is the school head of Pag-as Elementary School. In the competition of the school MOE budget program, so how much is the fixed cost for elementary schools? Ah, elementary schools have 50,000. So the correct answer here is letter C. 100,000 those are for senior high school. Ang 96,000 for junior high school. We'll have a special discussion on MOOE competition and allotment and where do we use our MOOE or maintenance and other operating expenses. Para alam po niyo, ha? Okay? Ganon. Ganon. Okay? Ayan. Question number 10. Ito, very easy. On which pillar of Sulong Eto Kuldad is or can PPSH's domain number 5 be obviously connected? 1 pillar, 2, 2 pillar, 2, 3 pillar, 3, 4 pillar, 4. Dapat alam niyo yung 4 um, pillars ng, ano, ng Sulong Eto Kuldad, yung kite. Kasi nasabi, no? Kite, K-I-T-E. Kite for K-12 um, curriculum development. Yung I naman is for the improvement of learning environment, T, teacher upskilling and reskilling, at yung E, engagement of stakeholders. Ano ang domain number five sa PPSHH? Sige nga, kung alam natin, ano po sinasabi doon? Anong title niya o pangalan? Building Connections. It has something to do with partnering or engaging with stakeholders. And pillar number four is that framework of Sulung Edop Kalidad or pillar four. So obviously, the answer here is number Four. And that is letter D. Ganon. Mm. Ayan, sinasabi ko sa inyo. So, ilang score nyo? Dapat po seven. Pag naka-seven ka, I feel talaga papasa ka talaga. I promise you talaga. I assure you. Diba? Ah, ganon. Napakrisi ako. Ganon. Ayan po ang ating answer key. At syempre, sa mga hindi po nagsasubscribe, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Hermes Vargas, at that youtube.com. Please, 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 ayan po aking link. Subscribe naman kayo. Mas marami tayong matulungan at mas marami tayong ma-reach na mga uh, kadep ed natin. At syempre, pag nanood kayo, huwag na kayong mag-skip ng advertisements. Just continue finishing the uh, the video and it will surely help you. And of course, kung natuwa kayo, nag-enjoy like, sa ating review ng ring araw, eh, this is totally free. But if you wish to voluntarily and willingly send your token of appreciation, ah uh -huh, of course, I'm willing to accept that at my Gcash number 0927 585 And of course, we're still accepting. Ito na ha, ito na talaga. Group of at least 10 persons or even 25. Basta online review po siya with a minimal fee. 8 to 12, 1 to 5 po ang ating schedule. I have a very special topic. Gusto ko yung MOOE at saka yung leave benefits and compensation for our debt and people. Yan ang maging paksa ng at usapan natin sa ating online review. I hope you learned something from me. Thank you very much. God bless everyone. Until the next time that we should have our review, Maka Enquest, thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of your time. Bye, everyone.